If you wanted to win at Le Mans at the end of the 1950s, you needed to be driving one of these. The Ferrari 250 Testarossa wasn't just beautiful, it was frighteningly effective. It dominated the 24-hour race in 1958 and again in 1960. And then, just for good measure, when the opposition thought it could breathe again, it won again in 1961. Its close cousin, the 250 GTO, might be the most valuable car the world has ever seen, but the Testarossa was the one that took the silverware. For all its beauty, the GTO had to make do with class wins, where the Testarossa beat everything. Its name comes from the red paint the engine builders daubed all over its cylinder head, because, well, that's the only colour paint they have at Ferrari. Testarossa means red head. And sure enough, its three-litre V12 engine, made by old men in oily workshops with lathes and drills and unfortunate industrial injuries, had a volcanic nature. There is sweat and blood and a bad attitude in every Ferrari 250 Testarossa.